We have our aggregate demand and aggregate supply model with inflation. So we're going to draw our long run aggregate supply with real GDP, our full employment level of GDP that would be possible if everyone's working, and our price level. So our short run aggregate supply, all of our businesses, and our aggregate demand, all of our people that want to buy things, are going to be at an inflationary gap. So their short run equilibrium, our production, is going to be to the right of full employment. So now we have an inflationary gap. Remember pi stands for inflation because the more pi you eat, you inflate. And when we have this short run equilibrium over here, we're going to be sitting at this amount of price level. Because remember when buyer and seller meet, that's called equilibrium, where exchange happens. And this is all the buying and all the selling in the entire economy. So if something like this happens and it's not going to fix itself, then we need to enact some kind of policy. So we're going to need a contractionary physical po fiscal policy. Contractionary fiscal policy. Now those tools of policy are enacted by Congress. They can do government spending. So we'd want to slow down GDP. So by doing that, we'd want to go decrease government spending or we can raise taxes, which would lead to consumption decreasing. And remember, anytime we have our sig x, our aggregate spending, equals to aggregate demand, if one of these goes down, jump the equal sign, that one would have to decrease. So now, to decrease it, we want all three to cross right here. We want to reduce that inflationary gap back to full employment level of our output. So I want it to cross right here. We want it to be full employment equilibrium once again. So don't forget, I have my leftward arrow because we decrease left. And so that leftward arrow, we're going to bring that back to full employment level of equilibrium. That is going to lower our prices, and that's our goal. So I need one, two, three arrows. Okay, I need it back to full employment equilibrium to show that it's solved. So if our now let's tell our storyline. Government spending goes down. That's going to lead to aggregate demand decreasing. Therefore, GDP, real GDP is going to decrease and that is going to make our unemployment rate go up. That's unfortunate, but we did get our goal right there. Now, at the same time, price level, which we see over here, our prices have decreased. So price level decreasing is going to lead to our ultimate goal of this policy, which is to decrease inflation. We want price level stability in our economy. That's the whole idea of contractionary policy. Keep those ups and downs from getting too crazy and prices being too much. So we've closed our, closed our inflationary gap with our contractionary fiscal policy items right here.